Hello everyone and welcome to Observations from the Fence Post. Today is a comic review of Fantastic Four, Volume 7, Number 4, also known as Legacy Number 697. So this current run has been a lot of fun, which is sometimes the best Fantastic Four stories are the fun stories where there's lots of exploration and adventure. And issues one through three have led up to this particular issue. What we learned in issues one through three is the team was split up over something controversial. Apparently the Baxter building had disappeared and the team had broken up and uh, wasn't quite uh, seeing things on the same level. And so they went their separate ways. Issue number one covered a, a story of Ben Grimm and his wife, Alicia. Uh, issue number two covered a story with uh, Sue and Reed Richards. And issue number three covered a story about Johnny Storm. And in this issue, we find out exactly what happened to the Baxter building. So the Baxter building was invaded by the negative zone, some creatures from the negative zone, and Reed had to make a very controversial decision that uh, saved a bunch of people, took care of the invasion, but um, caused a, a slight problem, which is addressed in this issue. So what I've always liked about the Fantastic Four is they go through ups and downs, but they stick together as a family. I've always liked that aspect and this one continues that aspect. You know, here's some of the artwork going on. Um, here's the invasion of the Baxter building. Um, the title of this particular issue is called the Baxter initiative. Um, and, uh, you know, the battle continues, uh, here's up at modern day where the team is starting to reunite and here is the famous disappearance of the Baxter building in this storyline. So without giving too much away, uh, I've really enjoyed this run. I thought it capped off very good with uh, finally figuring out what happened to the Baxter building. It works in terms of things that happened to the Fantastic Four. You know, it takes a suspension of disbelief, uh, but uh, it's okay. It, that's the fun thing about the Fantastic Four. They're always figuring out uh, things that, uh, you know, are just so far beyond uh, the normal scope that it, that it makes things fun and sound scientific at the same time. And again, what always must be at the core of a good Fantastic Four story is the team, the family aspect of the team, too. So this one delivers. I've been very pleased with this particular run, and I, I do recommend issues one through four. Of, the, of this run so far and I do look forward to more so that is my review of Fantastic Four Volume 7 number 4 seeing that this is legacy number 697 I expect that when they hit number 700 that it will be an oversized uh, big issue uh, who knows what the storyline will be by then but uh, I imagine it will be big and bold and uh, off the charts hopefully but um, in the meantime, uh, this capped off a pretty good uh, um, uh, teaser that had been teased in the first three issues of Volume 7, 1, 2, and 3. So I was very pleased, and um, I told uh, my local comic book shop owner, Dave, that um, this just felt like the Fantastic Four again, and I, I was very pleased with the direction it was headed. So anyway, thanks for joining me. Hopefully, I'll see you reading some comics. Always feel free to comment, hit like, and subscribe, and all that jazz. And uh, anyway, remember, keep it between the ditches, and peace.